Great National Terrace, Long Branch. Ordinance 1418, today being August 8, 2018. This ordinance concerns a provision in the Matosa Settlement Agreement. For the record, the minutes of April 24, 2018, City Council meeting, the recorded votes and the similar contract provision were no by Pallone and Selly on Ordinance 6-18 and Ordinance 7-18, concerning 42 and 44 Marine Terrace, respectively. Both Pallone and Selly together on that evening fired four bullets at that Matosa Settlement Agreement with their votes, no votes. That Matosa Settlement Agreement resulted from the city's ugly and deadly venture into seizing people's properties to hand over to private developers to make profit. Those properties seized, many were from senior citizens, sending those seniors to financial ruins and their graves. Pallone joined that Schneider record four years ago, partnering with Mary Jane Selly, who had a hand in that bloodbath. All along, prior to April 24th, that Matosa contract provision had been approved until Pallone and Selly decided otherwise. At the last council meeting on the record, in response to an inquiry by a Matosa representative, Mayor Pallone responded and stated there is now a difference of opinion after explanation by City Attorney Renault, the new City Attorney. One would ask, what was the difference between the explanation of former attorney City Aaron and former city attorney Reno? But the answer, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is, the track record shows. On this matter, both Pallone and Sully can't be trusted. So tonight, Council, if you vote to approve to approve 14-18 and honor that contract provision, fine. If not, you'll get blasted by the Institute of Justice out of Washington, D.C. that will send this council and mayor spinning. It's up to you. It's your call for drunk government. Mr. McCord, would you like